In this lesson, we'll continue our review of PSAT Math Test 2, Section 3, No Calculator, Questions 9 through 11. All right, let's take a look at 9. A parachute design uses 18 pieces of rope. Each piece of rope must be at least 270 centimeters and no more than 280 centimeters long. What inequality represents all possible values of the total length of rope X in centimeters needed for the parachute? And so this is an inequality, a common question. You don't have to solve it. You just have to set up the range. And you see this phrase here, at least, and this is a common phrase, at least. I think some students are inclined to put a less than because least sounds like less, but it means that number or greater, it's greater than or equal. No more, again, you think of more as greater than, but no more means less than or equal. So keep that in mind for these types of questions. So the range here is only 10 centimeters apart, 270 and 280 but there's 18 pieces of tape. And so you should recognize that the range has to be 180 centimeters apart. And if you can recognize that, you can really save a lot of time. You don't need to do these calculations, and this is the no calculator section. And so if you look at A, see this range is only 10 apart. That's if you had one piece of tape, but we don't have one, we have 18. This one again is only 10 centimeters, can't work. We have to be 180 centimeters apart. This one, 860, to 50, 40. This one is 180 centimeters. It looks good. And if you look at D, it's only 10 centimeters. It has to be, you don't really have to figure out the calculation if you just recognize that concept. All right, let's take a look at question number 10. A carpenter has $60 with which to buy supplies. The, the carpenter needs to buy both nails and screws. Nails cost $12.99 per box. Screws cost $14.99 per box. If N represents the number of boxes of nails and S represents the number of boxes of screws, which of the following systems of inequalities models this situation? And so here, and similar to the last question we just did, let's work on the, the first equation for the amount of items. We know he has to buy, he must buy both nails and screws. And so would it be nails plus screws is less than or equal to one? That really doesn't make sense, right? Nails plus screw less than or equal to one. He has to buy both of them. So at, the, at least has to buy one nail and one screw, one nail, and one screw. So we're, right away, we're down to C or D. And then now we want one for the cost function. We know it's $12.99 for the nail. We know the screws are $14.99. And he has $60. That's the most he can spend. And so when we add these together, the amount of nails and screws, we know that it has to be less than, right? No more than $60. And so the answer is D. All right, we'll take a look at number 11. In the figure above, which of the following ratios has the same value of, as AB over BC? All right, so AB is here, and here's BC. If you do enough of these practice problems, you start recognizing the concepts that get tested. And what I would think about when I see a 28 here, and within this triangle, I see another smaller triangle with a 28. Well, maybe they're testing similar triangles. And that means that if, if two different angles have two of the same, two sorry, if two different triangles have two of the same interior angles, the third one must be equal and they're similar. That means they have the same ratio. And so think about it, this big triangle, you see how 28 is an angle, here is an angle, but it's got C. And the smaller one has a 28 and it's got C. These are similar triangles. And so this is just a ratio question. And I think it helps for this question. I'm gonna try this function of drawing a straight line. I'm gonna draw these triangles separately. All right, so here's the first one and Here's a second one, all right? And so this has a 28. I'm gonna change colors here and a C. And this one has a 28 and a C. And so that means that whatever this angle is, all right, has to equal that one. These are similar triangles that have the same ratio. And so we want the ratio of BD to DC. So I'm gonna put the letters on. So A, B, and C, and B, D and C. So let's look at the big triangle that has ABC. So AB is here. AB is opposite C. All right, so C and BC, here's BC, is opposite 28. 
So I'm looking on this smaller triangle for whatever is C over 28. And so here's our C. What's opposite the C? BD. And what's opposite the 28? DC. And that is choice A.